Good morning, everybody. This is Zoe Bywater from Belvoir Bedford, and we've got an extra special tenants advice surgery today. Normally, we would probably have one expert, but today you've got four for the price of price of one. Um, we wanted to talk to you today about the importance of inventories, and we're really delighted to invite all the, uh, as I call, industry big hitters in this sort of field of expertise, um, and. First of all, I'd just like to sort of ask each of the uh, speakers today to just give us a brief introduction as to who you are and who you work for, and, and then we'll sort of take it from there because we've got a few questions. Um, if anybody's watching that has any questions, I'll keep an eye on the chat and we'll try and answer those too. But um, if you want to start, Mitch, uh, just explain who you are and who you work for. Sure. So I'm Mitch Hanley. Um, I'm from Inventory Hive. So Inventory Hive is a cloud-based property reporting platform. Um, what we do is we provide a desktop and app version for letting agents, landlords, inventory clerks, property managers, built to rent sector as well. So what they can do is they can go out into the field and create unlimited property inspection reports for the properties they manage. How we're a bit unique as well is, um, and it kind of ties into today's topic, is um, how the platform was built was to help engage with tenants at the start of the tenancy as well, to, which is designed to reduce a dispute at the end. So in a nutshell, when um, the property manager, for example, creates a report, they're able to send that report directly to the tenant via email, completely paperlessly. So when that tenant moves into the property, they've got the report and they're able to provide feedback at the start as well. So it's just designed so they can engage with the report at the start of the tenancy, build a more positive relationship and then add anything in their report that the inspector might have missed when they did the checking report, for example. So, All right. Thank, thanks for that, Mitch. Kelly, do you just want to briefly explain who you are and why you're here today? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Um, so I'm, I'm Kelly. I'm the sales manager at TDS, Tenancy Deposit Scheme. We offer both tenancy deposit protection for the insured and also custodial options. Um, effectively, landlords and agents, if they take a deposit, they have to protect a deposit. So that's one part of our business. The second part is the alternative dispute resolution process. So at the end of the tenancy where the parties don't agree um, as to any deductions and the return of the deposit, TDS offers a, a free alternative dispute resolution service. Thanks very much. And Christian, I've, I've been uh, watching you from afar for a long time and it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Um, I know you're an absolutely awesome, or you were an awesome, we still are, an awesome letting agent in London, but you're here for a different reason today. Can you just briefly explain that and then obviously we'll get into the nitty-gritties of the portal in a few minutes sure i mean i think um hi everyone um i think for the tenants concerned probably the most relevant thing is i'm a tenant myself i've been a tenant in london since 1998 um and still am so uh yeah 23 years and counting um so i think for for tenants watching that's probably the most interesting uh, background that i've got um but aside from that i as you said i'm a letting agent i've been a letting agent of nearly 20 years and have my own agency for 17 in london called base property specialists uh and then about 18 months or so ago we launched a company called the depository which is basically trying to apply digital innovation to the end of tenancy process to make it easy transparent and uh hopefully fair um is is yeah our key objective okay and jen do you just want to briefly introduce yourself i'm jen i work at belvoir bedford here i'm a um office and portfolio manager so i kind of manage our portfolio of properties deal with the landlord tenants contractors um and that's pretty much it yeah. so basically you're at the cold face and obviously use yeah the, exactly. the technology to ensure that the tenant has a positive yeah. uh, journey while they're with us. Um, so obviously, the, I've called you guys a tripartite relationship because you all sort of filter into each other. So I don't even would like to. I mean, did it happen by accident or was it a sort of pre-planned thing? Um, from what I gather is, um, so the TDS and Image Hive kind of came together initially because I think the TDS or Steve at the TDS liked the way we worked. Um, so he liked the way how we engage with tenants at the start of the tenancy to reduce deposit disputes. And obviously because it's complete done paperlessly and everything like that. It, so we came together in September last year 
um, to help raise standards in the private rented centre as well. So our partnership with the TDS means we create um, frequent webinars, like we did one recently about pets in properties. We provide our users with case studies and um, statistics about deposit disputes just to help raise standards. And it will also provide training um, about images as well, along with feedback from the TDS. So that partnership came together just to help raise standards with the private rented sector. And then our relationship with the depository came about when um, obviously the depository launched about 18 months ago and we integrated together because when you create checkout reports to Vitra Hive, you can push those straight to your depository account straight away, saving loads and loads of time, lots of admin time and uh, administration error on human error as well. So it just saves a lot of time and then that plugs into the TDS straight away as well. So that's how that partnership came about. And I think we've all got one main aim, it's to um, educate the private rent sector and reduce disputes. Yeah, I completely agree. Are all three of you able to work directly with landlords? Or is, it some, is this portal sort of predominantly, or are your portals predominantly agent focused? So Inventory Hive, um, the majority of our customer base is um, letting agents and inventory clerks, but we do have a large portfolio of landlords as well. So because it's Inventory Hive is quite easy to use, landlords will download the app themselves, create the report for the property they manage um, and still use us. Um, so yeah, we, we do have quite a few landlords that do use us, but it's predominantly letting agents, uh, inventory clerks and um, build to rent as well. Okay. And, and obviously today is predominantly going to be about the tenant's perspective. So can you sort of probably explain, one or all of you, how you think a tenant would benefit if their agent or landlord was using your portal or platform? So, you know, what's what's in it for the tenants? Why should a tenant come to an agent that's working with, say, for example, Imagery Hive, uh, TDS and, and the depository? What what makes it, you know, it's a good thing? So, so look, I think... Um the reason we developed the depository was because although there's a lot of legislation i think as we all know as as agents and and as landlords we're aware there's a lot of legislation around cash tenancy deposits um for tenants a lot of them still feel sort of um unprotected largely because as a tenant they just don't fully understand deposit legislation and quite frankly why should they it's pretty it's pretty dry right and uh, as a tenant you just want to know that you're safely protected and i think um for us we really wanted to do two things for tenants which was firstly help them understand the process um because i think for a lot of tenants they they just don't really understand and again you know a, a tenant shouldn't need to educate themselves on this stuff it should just become apparent but um being an agent we know there's a lot of things or, or if you're a hands-on landlord that does this all yourself there's a lot of things that happen behind the scene for a tenant there's only really two things they're concerned about when do they move out and when do they get their deposit back um and they're not really you know aware of what else goes on so one thing that we wanted to make clear with our platform was was very clearly give a visual representation of what that journey was so when a tenant comes into the platform our platform depending on what device you're on if you're on a big screen it's a timeline if you're on a, a small screen like a mobile phone it'll be a, a wheel um, but basically it just sets out for tenants what those steps are you know you've got your you book your checkout you book your clean you have your checkout you have your checkout report you then have the the audit of that with any proposed liabilities and then you go through that negotiation and then you've got uh, a deposit return. Um, and so I think the thing for us was it was just to help tenants understand exactly what is involved with getting from A to Z. That was a huge part of what our journey was about, just bringing transparency to the process. Um, and hopefully in doing so, taking a little bit of pressure off agents and landlords being chased by tenants saying, oh, you know, what happens next? Why haven't I got my deposit back? Um, yeah. And then, you know, the second part, very importantly, was about trying to bring that same level of transparency and fairness to the deductions process. So, you know, we've built a system which is very, very evidence led. 
which is why you know our partnership with Inventory Hive came along. Um, because what we want to be able to do is is when a land order agent proposes deductions in our platform, um, you know, we want it to just be clear and factual and evidenced. You know, and what we what we really wanted to get away from was these quite emotive emails that that quite often happen in the end of tenancy process. You know, where you might have a landlord, you know, say something along the lines of, "Oh, you know, I I, I normally wouldn't bother." asking you to pay for this broken mirror but because i had to chase you for rent every month you know i'm gonna ask for it or you know something like that it, it, it you know for us we didn't want that sort of side story it's it's all about proposing exclusively proposing legitimate and evidence deductions yeah. so the tenants feel that you know they're they're being presented with things that are fair and fair and supported rather than just a sort of wish list of things that a landlord or agent yeah. um, might want improved at the property. Um, I think there's also often a misconception by tenants, especially when there's an agent involved, that somehow the agent benefits if the deductions are higher. Um, and I think as agents, I think, you know, we pretty much, but for most of us, I'm sure there are there is the odd exception out there that does find some way to leverage that. But for most agents, the more deductions involved, the more work there is. So, so actually, for most agents, they want a really clean process. They don't, you know, I think for most agents, we would happily have, give all of our deposits back in full, you know, if we got our tenancies back that way. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's really great listening to that because you, you've almost become like the independent arbiter without going to arbitration because you're sort of you're managing a situation that's potentially really stressful. I mean, I've been in the industry 18 years and I'll be honest the worst thing and I'm sure Jen will back me up is the end of tenancy situation because for everybody it's stressful because you're trying to get that balance I mean the other thing is Kelly have you noticed since working with Christian that you're finding that adjudications are reducing I mean I don't know if there's been a change since since working and that you know a positive outcome as a result yeah i mean i think with with tds our kind of mantra is is preparing for the end of the tenancy at the start so we do a lot of work with our agent customers to help them understand that the process at the very beginning because you know often with tenancies everything starts very you know everyone's happy and everyone's very friendly to begin with and then the problems arise at, at the end so it's actually preparing at the beginning and We've done a lot of work with Inventory Hive in terms of training with, with agents and actually on-demand training, which we now offer to help them to understand in the event of a dispute, these are the kind of things that we will need to, to see so they can really be prepared. And then when it comes to the depository, they can actually you know, present that kind of information to hopefully prevent, prevent things from going to dispute. That's the whole you know, kind of purpose of, of all of these things is having that back and forth to begin with helping the parties to understand what's going on why deductions are being made what evidence is there to support those deductions and then hopefully then tenants can understand okay that's why that's being deducted that makes sense there's the you know the the, the invoice or the quote or whatever it is um and um you know are then more likely to to engage and, and agree with it so i think certainly from the customers that we do have what uh, that are using the depository um they're seeing that the benefit when it comes to that end of tenancy process and, and streamlining it uh, I mean, obviously, we've not talked about the portal yet. I mean, one of the things that I've obviously had a demo recently, I mean, there are obviously other deposit schemes out there, but I found that just from an agent's point of view, um, it doesn't cost you anything. And it's it's really, really user friendly, really easy to understand. And, and certain things like changing uh, are so simple. I mean, I don't know if you just want to touch on it briefly, just give us a little potted, uh, you know, idea of, of the portal. Um, yeah you know just so people get a feel for that as well because a lot of people might be on a different platform and not realize how simple it is to sort of move over if they needed to to fit in with this sort of tripartite relationship we've got going on here yeah absolutely um so with with tds custodial we've really listened to feedback and we've taken on board the bugbears and the frustrations that agents have when they're just managing the tenancy deposit protection process and you know we we know it's not it's not the most glamorous part of the of the lettings job um but it's it's necessary so we try to make it as easy as possible and the online portal really helps with that um it's all very transparent it follows through the journey of the of the tenancy deposit you can see at a glance what's going on multi-user access multiple branches under one account so again you've got everything under one roof and you can see what's going on 
Um, we have an online evidence portal. So in the event that things do go to dispute and we've not been able to, to resolve things before that point, we have this online portal where agents can actually upload evidence um, and it's a transparent process. So once evidence is uploaded onto the portal, tenants can see what's there. Again, it's right in front of them. Um, all with the, the aim to, to reduce those disputes and, and make it easier. Um, we also, at TDS Custodial, we've developed an app. Um, so tenants now can actually just download the app. They can look at their repayment request. They can respond to repayment requests. They can do it all through the app. And again, that was based on feedback from our customers and our customers' customers to be able to do these things on the move. Um, and and yeah, that's what all these relationships are about, is listening to what our customers are wanting and the way that the world and the industry is going um, and making sure that we can you know accommodate for those things and actually make life easier for, for everyone you know tenants landlords and agents okay thanks very much Kel. and mitch finally is there anything you want to say about you know why inventory hive you know fits in beautifully with with the other two partners here and obviously what makes you i mean one of the things i'm going to ask next is what makes you unique so yeah, sure. there are other suppliers out there um, yeah. You know, so why why would a tenant want to ask their agent? Are you work what you know? Are you working with inventory yeah. high TDS and, and the depository? So yeah, this kind of touches on the point Christy made um, about five or so minutes ago. It's like there's a stigma about that thing that agents actually want to charge tenants, but they don't because they just want a clean process. They want to hand back the deposit and then off they go. It will it'll probably cost the agent more time and resources and the headache to process a dispute so what inventory hive does is because we engage with tenants at the start of the tenancy it means any issues can be raised straight away at the start so it's quite often that say a tenant moves into the property they've got the removal van outside with all the furniture and they just want to sign off the inventory straight away just to get it off the desk but what inventory hive does is it allows the tenant seven days to get moved into the property Sorry, the tenant can get moved into the property, get settled and take the time and have a look around the property to make sure their image report is correct. Um, they're not put under, under any pressure to sign off straight away. Like I said, they've got seven days. They can have a look around. And then if they do spot any issues, like, for example, if they walked into the living room and they noticed a, an iron stain in the corner of the carpet on the floor, they could take a photograph of that. That will get uploaded straight into their image report and then they can add a comment as well. So it's all audit trailed, meaning at the end of the tenancy, when they check out, the landlord and letting agent can clearly see, right, that was there at the start. We can't raise any disputes there or do any deductions. So away we go again. Um, so off you go. Um, the whole the whole where Image Hard came from is because Richard, the founder, he was a tenant himself and he had a bad experience when he moved in and he basically signed an image report on the back of a fag packet in a nutshell um and then obviously at the end, he, really yeah <laughs> pretty much so i think um and then when he moved when he when it came to the end of the tenancy it he had a lot of problems so he thought he could create a better platform which will help engage with tenants so what he designed with image hard not only helps letting agents creating reports we also get a lot of feedback from tenants saying this is great it's really easy to use and we can engage and uh, reduce disputes. Yeah. Jen, quickly, do you want to just comment? Yeah. <laughs> We've been using Inventory Hive for a little while now. Yeah. Um, just sort of what the, the agent's experience is. Um, obviously, clearly, we're, we're, we're hoping to work with Kelly and, and Christian, but because it just it all slots in together beautifully. Yeah. So, um, but just if you could just comment on you know what your experience as a, a property manager has been so far. I think I think like Mitch was saying, it's it's super user friendly. I've just found going out doing reports it doesn't take as long there's several options for how you can compile the report so there's obviously the the voice um, recognition you can um, type it and there's also the drop down boxes which is really handy especially if you know it means you can cover kind of everything you know you're not having to sit there and manually type you know, reams and reams of text and like I said what both me and Zoe really like is the tenant engagement part of it because often you know you get them to you know sign or there's that acknowledgement before they even move in right this is the inventory when you move in you've got the seven days so they can't kind of dispute the fact that they've had the opportunity to look over that document and check that before they move in and I think like everyone said it's it's helpful being transparent with the tenants because 
you know from the outset that's really important and building that relationship because it always is when it gets to the end of the tenancy that's when the problems arise but if you've been transparent and you know they've had the opportunity from the outset to get that you know any any kind of things that could cause dispute at the end there then it's you know it's it's helpful for everyone especially you know especially us <laughs> So quickly, because I really appreciate you're really busy, and I know Christine's got a very important appointment, so we, we won't want you to be late for that. Um, can you just detail what you think is unique about your individual portal? And then the other question I'd want to ask is, in terms of the end of the tenancy situation, how quickly are you turning around? And this might be an answer for Kelly and Christian the process how quickly does it turn around at the end because we know when there's negotiations taking place it can take a hell of a long time to try and resolve it so what makes you unique and then quickly you know the turnaround you know because we want that to be a positive experience for everybody well i think um for us i mean there's 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 no sort of end of tenancy process portal out there so we we are unique in that respect. I think touching on what we were just talking about with deductions, um, because we work so closely with TDS and Inventory Hive to help our agents and their landlords present very fair and substantiated deductions. Sorry, my three-year-old is trying That's to okay. join in. Hold <laughs> no. oh, on, I'm talking. <laughs> um, so uh, that has completely thrown me off. Um, yeah, so <laughs> because, of, because of the way we present it and what we, what we do for tenants is everything relevant to that deduction. It's not just the specific evidence, but your your tenancy agreement, your check-in, your check-out report, it's all available at the click of a button for a tenant to check things. Um, around 75% of all deductions proposed in our platform are accepted by tenants without any form of renegotiation. Um, so I think that, that, that in itself is a really fascinating statistic. You know, mm -hmm. that tenants feel they're presented, you know, 75% of what they're presented with at face value, they feel comfortable accepting straight off the bat. And then obviously that other 25%, you've got a you've got a sliding scale on that one. Um, and then just coming around to deposit returns. I mean, this was something that actually is is one of our sort of side goals is yes, we want to speed that process up. We want to make it quicker so that tenants get their deposit back faster. I think we all know that that, that end of tenancy point where tenants typically find themselves in a situation where they've got two tenancy deposits because they've had to pay for their next home before they get their deposit back. For a lot of tenants, that's a really, really stressful time um, because that is very financially onerous for them. You know, whether they've had to raid their bank account or raid mum and dad's bank account or their best mates or you know take out a short-term loan or whatever it is you know for most tenants they're very keen to get that back so the time taken to return a deposit was was something you know that we want to expedite i think i'm right in saying kelly might correct me on this i think i'm right in saying the average deposit return is about 21 days um from from a tenancy ending um, and at the moment at the depository, we sit around an average of 16 days. So we're quite a bit faster than that. And yeah. um, my objective is our goal within the next 12 to 18 months is we want to get that average on our platform down definitely to under two weeks. But actually, we want to try and get it to single figures. So our objective is to get that under for our average agent to be doing that in under 10 days uh, and as close to seven as possible. That's the sort of big big goal that we set ourselves is is to hopefully one day hit an average of of our agents returning deposits within seven days of a tenancy ending um that might be a little bit over optimistic who knows um but no we already we already are, are about 20 25 percent faster than the national average um, for say three yeah. weeks is awesome in in the scheme of things you know yeah. and one of the things is that you know as, as a business owner i'm sitting here and listening is that obviously clearly there's a cost implication with working with christian but then i'm sitting here thinking well the actual cost of my time or jen's time i seriously your the cost of the depository probably clearly probably outweighs that massively you know because you yeah, spend I mean hours and hours and hours dealing with these things that you know how, how much is our time worth now could that be better spent I well, we, 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 research, month, you know? we research the process and I think mm -hmm. for the average agent, it's anywhere between three to five hours for yeah. your typical tenancy conclusion. Um, 
you know, which is which is a lot of man hours. Yeah. Um, and you you know you got to think your average agency is probably doing at least, or your average branch is doing at least probably a hundred tenancy turnovers a year. Um, so you know you're looking at three to five hundred hours. Yeah. Um, for our agents, we reduce that by about eighty percent. So the average the average workload for an agent with us is is around fifteen to twenty minutes per tenancy. Um, and if you plug in the likes of Inventory Hive and and, and TDS and some other um, partners that we're having, you know, again, that is something that we're focusing on. Our, our objective is to get that under 10 minutes for agents. Yeah. Fabulous. So Kelly and Mitch, I don't know who wants to go first. Um, what makes you two unique? And, you know, why should people consider working with yourselves? Um, yeah, so Inventory Hive um, is completely paperless. So I know a lot of agents or property managers or whoever still like to do paper inventories but think about it it's probably going to cost you about 20 25 quid to print off a whole 80 page report with printing and ink alone um, we've got a 360 degree camera integration so it means when um, you take photographs you can take 360 photos which means it saves you time taking lots of other standard photographs um, when reports, if, you, if it does go to a dispute, rather than sending lots of photographs and emails to other deposit schemes, to the TDS, you can just simply send a link to that report. So it helps the um, any adjudicators, they'll just click the link and there's the report there, rather than go through loads and loads of emails and you can easily get lost as well. And also because it hooks into the depository, you can do it that way as well. So um, saves a lot of time there. Um, obviously we're desktop and app based we've got um, we have users from like one property landlord up to uh, an agent with um, thousands and thousands of properties that use us so we're really um, the customer base is really wide um, and we're just really easy to use you, you find the feedback that we get is when you read our reviews it's easy to use mm -hmm. it helps our talents I mean really. we, we've only done two full inventory since working with you guys and we've had two for two signing, which is an yeah. absolute rare occasion of anything. Yeah. Trying to get a tenant to sign inventory is absolutely like yeah. getting blood out of a stone. And, and to get two for two, you know, that's, yeah. that's just awesome, you know, it, just, I mean, just on that small thing. Because you know. it's completely automated. Well, it saves you time ringing the tenant or emailing yeah. him or even going around the house to grab a signature. When Image Hive does it automatically, it will send reminder text messages and emails as well. Mm -hmm just prompting them to sign for their report and provide yeah. feedback. Yeah. And before you answer, Kelly, I've got one thing I'd like to say about TDS that I didn't know until I spoke to you recently, which I think is an absolutely unique thing, is that you're non-for-profit. And I don't think anybody knows that, or it's not said loudly enough. Yeah. And for me, that that is enough to make someone make that decision to, to move over because you're it's not... It's still my unique area. feature. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a unique feature. And I think it's not talked about enough and I just wanted to say it out loud and, you know, I'd say it because, you know, it's one of the things I wish I'd known sooner because it would have... The decision-making process would have probably been a lot quicker. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's understanding what that what that means, um, because as a not for profit company, we, we don't have any shareholders. So the benefit of that is that any surplus we make at TDS, we can invest back into the business. And that allows us to look at, you know, innovation and look at these kind of relationships and how we can develop things like integration, um, also customer service, we can invest um, you, you know, money back into that to improve that. Our call answering times are the best. Our email answering times are the best. We're looking at things like integrations with software providers. So again, to streamline, we're, we're talking a lot today about the end of tenancy process. Mm. But actually, the work we're doing with software providers is streamlining that start of tenancy process and the registering of deposits and managing your deposits. Um, also, just in terms of education, all of our employees go through the Arla Property Mark exam. So again, in terms of voice of authority, that's something that we really pride ourselves on, that anyone that you speak to at TDS has an understanding of the wider world of, of lettings. Um, yes, we deal with deposits. That's where we're the experts. But actually to understand how that fits into, you know, the, the bigger picture is something that's really important to us as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you, all of you. I just want to thank you. I've just known time's ticking on. And I just wanted to say I'm really pleased and I'm really grateful for you, you all spending the time to talk to, me, to us today. Um, one of the things I, I want you to illustrate, and I think you've done it perfectly, is that agents were not bad. We're all trying to work for the tenants and, and to get them, you know, a better service and a better experience. And obviously just talking to the sort of 
preview today, it's clear that that is exactly what's happening. And it just, I'm so pleased I'm able to sort of convey that to our tenants in Bedford and hopefully the wider audience once we sort of chuck this out all over social media. Because I think people need to understand that we are the good guys here and we are trying to work for tenants as well as landlords to make sure they have this stress-free experience and, you know, it, it warms the cockles of the heart to know that that's happening, you know, and we're not these cutthroat so-and-so that people, you know, think that we are. So, you know, really, really appreciate it, especially you, Christian, because I know you've, you've got this exciting appointment to go to. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. If there's anything else you want to say before us, we sign off today, feel free or we can just sign off to you. No, and then there was silence. Good. Oh, yes. <laughs> I shall end the broadcast. Thank you so much, all of you. I like to really appreciate it.